Hello, everyone. This is Susan Gerbig from Psychics Explained. We're going to take a third look at psychic medium John Benner, who is someone who does readings on Facebook Live. I have a playlist set up for him on my channel. If you want to listen to the first video in the second video, this is the third. So I do take requests for people who ask me to look into different mediums. And this person was somebody who sent me a message saying that I should look at his readings. They are a totally different style. And I find them interesting as I do with all mediumship kinds of ways. He has, his style is very slow and deliberate. His, um, this is recorded in January 7th, 2024. Um, I am at one hour into one of his two videos. He usually makes two a night. He's on for four hours a night, six days a week. So um, I thought it would be interesting. Also, I got some critique on the last ones I did. They said that I got the prices wrong. I I took them right off his website. Here's the website here. So there are posts on the on the um, live stream that will say a price. And I think it's different from this price. So here's here's the one that I've got here. There's $7 for live stream only for a psychic reading, cash apps, $20 for a past loved one. I think on the Facebook page, it says $22 for a, if you want to talk to your loved dead one, your dead loved one. So I have this set up in real time comments. You can see here. And down here in the corner is where the questions come in. And then he responds to the whatever's here. That's how it usually works. I will leave in the um, description of this video, I will leave the link to this video if you want to watch it in, in full. I do find watching multiple readings in a row helps you really understand the style, the method that this particular medium uses. And some of the things you can notice just from seeing these for, you know, watching videos so often is that the he has a community. It's a very small community, but it looks like these people are coming to his readings often, many times a week, probably. They seem to know each other. There's a lot of, you know, talking back and forth and talking about things that had happened the day before or, you know, a few days before different readings. So you can tell that these are people who are, who found this a community and in their mind, this John Benner is a minor celebrity. And that's just interesting because that's how that works. I, I can't see that he's making a large, a lot, a lot of money because he's charging $7, $22. He's on 24 hours a week. And he's on for, that's a lot of hours. It's four hours a night. I, I guess you could make some money at this. It's cash app. So you cash apps, PayPal, that kind of thing. So you're making cash. Uh-huh. All right. So. I haven't watched this, so I don't know what to expect. This is new to me. This is new to you. Uh, please get your pencil or pen, piece of paper, take notes, because that's what I do. I like to take I like to take notes as I go through this. I, I don't know what we're going to see, but I was told this is a good one to watch. Let's, let's see what happens. And then we'll come back and compare notes after we're all done. So you're looking down here in the right hand corner and I'm not going to cut this up into little pieces because I really like it. I, I like even the long pauses. Um, I think that's important because that's his style. And if I break it up into like just the chunks where he's saying something, then you're missing out on the, on what it feels like to have a reading from this person. Um, he speaks very quietly. So in post-production, I'm going to bump up the sound so that whenever you hear this back on YouTube, you should be able to hear hear him better. But he does speak quite softly. So that's for what it's worth. And no ad homonyms, please. Um, so this guy is who he is. He looks the way he looks. His mannerisms are the way his mannerisms are. Please don't make fun of people. 
Um, I don't appreciate that. And then the people that are writing here, this is a public place where people can look and see these videos if they should want to. But please do not look these people up. They've got enough going on in their lives. They do not need um, anybody from YouTube commenting on their Facebook profiles or or checking them out or saying anything. It's let's let's not go there, okay? All right, the next person up is Heather Carey. Heather Carey is up next. How can I help you, Heather? Hiya, Heather. How are you? Nora, how are you doing? Hello, Holly. Oh, that was just yes, creepy. I still remember that. I'm waiting for Heather energy reading and three month love life. Okay. No. I don't know what we're waiting for, folks. I'm not feeling in your energy. Oh, okay. More likely, sounds like one of your spirit guides is trying to guide you with your school, is trying to tell you to stay very focused on it right now. To really focus on your school and not worry too much about the love life. I'm still going to give you a love life reading, but that's what it seems like.
trying to ground a little bit more. I'm trying to retain my focus. Uh, that's probably why. Yeah, because your love life can get in the way of that too. So, um, your your spirit guides are really encouraging you right now to stay focused on your school over anything. By all means, get over the sickness first, but to really stay focused on your school. Because your spirit guides know how much and how badly you want to get through this. As long as you stay focused on it, you should you'll be able to push through. That's all I'm picking up in your energy right now. I do see some stress in your aura. You might want to do some aura cleansing, some meditation on that. Take the stress off to the right side, to the lower right leg in that area. I don't read auras, so I don't know what that means. Um, I'm trying to ask my spirit guides what it might mean. Oh, you have a final paper? Okay. You'd probably just stay very focused on that right now. See a lot of green up in the... A lot of green energy up in here. So that's healing. Something's healing there. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, and your spirit guides are just keep, they keep telling you to move, keep moving forward with school. That's all I hear from them. Keep moving forward with school. I can't heal you from that over the live stream, Heather. Um, but what you can do, um, let's see, Archangel Raphael. Ask for Raphael's help um, at bedtime. This is something that I do when I have troubles breathing, because sometimes I have trouble breathing due to the blood sugar. Um, just ask for Archangel Raphael to put green light, green light right on your chest and ask Raphael, just say, please help me to heal from this. I need to get through school. Um, yeah, there's a lot of green up here, not around you. It's up here in the head part. So that means you're healing. There's, there's healing energy there. They keep asking. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're trying to tell me that you have been asking him. I see. And that's why that light is there. So visualize that light coming down through the aura and into your chest area. Okay? Because that's what it's there for. It's for you to, to take that energy and put it where you need it. Because that's how healing works. Remember, you got to do the healing work. The angels can give you, I can give you, Reiki can give you all this energy, but unless you really take it and accept it and do something, that's not going to happen. You have to do something with it. Okay. Because that's how it works. 
everybody always thinks that it's the person healing the person and it's not it's the person that heals themselves because they receive the energy and then they take it and they put it where they need it and it's actually the person healing themselves okay let's see still love life Angels, please give Heather a clear, concise message through this deck of cards about her love life over the next three months, January, February, and March, and I thank you. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. My eyes won't stop twitching tonight. January, February, and March. Ooh. Okay, so I'm seeing now, I'm starting to see why your spirit guides are telling you to focus on school. You're going to have a lot of hard work. Your love life this month is going to be a lot of hard work. You're going to need to really find balance with your um, love life this month. So it, it's going to be taking a lot out of you. So your spirit guides are telling you the right thing. Just focus on school. Otherwise, this is going to just get in the way. Um, next month in February from what I'm seeing here in February, is it looks like uh, your love life is going to be much easier. I feel you're going to have the ability to make your love life beautiful in February. You're, um, I feel you're going to be taking on a very practical approach as to how do you proceed with it and whatnot, but things are going to be great. But then when we come into March, we see a lot of, I see a lot of conflict coming in, lots of drama coming in again. I'm feeling a lot of disagreements happening there between you and someone else. Um, so March is not going to look, is not looking too good there, but just do what your spirit guides say, focus on school, not love life next month, focus on love life and be aware of what's going to take place in March. Did you have any other questions? Hello, Michelle, how are you? I guess not. I know they are telling me to do school stuff, but love life is my mind. It's on my mind for sure. Okay. That's good, Michelle. Yeah, that can be, um, it can get in the way when other things are in your mind besides school. That can definitely get in the way.
you think you'll let him go for a while. Well, maybe it's in the best thing, in your best interest right now, so that you can focus on school. He's going through a lot of personality, too. Uh, well, it's probably the right time right now just to kind of take a break from it and focus on the other things that are most important. Get through this month, and then... And then we see in February, everything goes your way. Everything looks beautiful in February, but then in March, everything goes haywire. Hmm. Do you have any other questions, Heather? I'm going to plug my iPad in before it dies here. I wish I had my iMac. It's at home. Yeah, go work on that paper. Get that thing done. <laughs> Don't worry about your love life so much. It will come. It will come soon. You're very welcome. I could hear you all screaming, stop the video, Susan. <laughs> Put us out of our misery already. Heck, I don't know what's coming up. I don't know. I was told this is a really good reading to watch. It's it's a good one. So you should watch it from this time on. I don't know what to expect. Did you take notes? Let's compare notes. All right. So this is a reading for Heather Carey. That was a very long time. 19 minutes. <laughs> I think something like that. Felt like an hour. Okay. I only made a paragraph of stuff because it was the same thing over and over. Three, she wanted a three month love life and energy reading. Your spirit guides are telling you to stay focused on school. They know how much <laughs> they want you to get through um, this school I suppose he went to give her an aura cleansing it was green um or 
she says she has a final paper to write before midnight tomorrow. He said, keep moving forward with school. Then she tells everybody she's sick, really sick with the flu. And he says, <laughs> thankfully, I was waiting to see if he's going to try to heal her, Whew, give her some medical advice. But he, his medical advice was benign. Well, sort of. He says that the Arch, Archangel Raphael, he, has, he wants you to put green light. You've got green light on you because you should be talking to Archangel Gabe, Raphael before you go to bed. And she goes, well, I have been which is interesting because that's not the first thing that occurs to me is whenever I'm not feeling well to ask Archangel um, Raphael to make me feel better. I don't usually go there. I don't know about you guys. Is that your first go-to when you're feeling awful? Well, apparently she was. So I have a feeling that this woman sees John Benner often because he knows she knows that's kind of what he's going to say is to go to your Archangel Raphael. Um, so he says, that's how healing works. Um, you have to heal, you have to do something to heal yourself. And I, I wrote down, this guy's diabetic. He always talks about how he can't afford his insulin. And he did say he was, what he does when he has trouble sleeping is he talks to Archangel Raphael before he goes to bed. And that when he's having problems too, and that, that's kind of getting into the blame the victim thing. In other words, if you're sick, then you brought it in. You got to fix it. It's your fault you're sick. So, and that's not how healing works, John. No, we we don't heal ourselves by prayer uh, to our, our, any archangels, any of the archangels and no lights or auras or anything of the sort. You get better. Um well, sometimes you could just wait it out, which is what happens in a lot of these cases. And you will feel, feel better. And if she's prayed to Archangel, ugh, Archangel Raphael, then she feels better the next day. Well, then she's going to say the reason I feel better is because Archangel Raphael made me feel better. See, that's kind of how it works. But, um, you know, you might go to a doctor um, that might help maybe get some good a good night's sleep maybe getting that paper done would be a good idea because then you're going to feel that level of stress will be off of you heather if you get a better night's sleep then you will maybe feel a little healthier so this idea of healing yourself is ridiculous and it is victim blaming and why is he diabetic if it's all just heal yourself? All right. So then she was asking about her relationships. He did his little tarot cards and he said what he was, said that January is not good. February is going to be really good. And then March is going to go down the drain. It's just, what is it? It's like one of those newspaper horoscope readings. There's nothing to any of this. This is just very bleh, bland, very bland seven bucks wow i think it's a waste so her reading really reminds me of you know mark edward wrote in his book psychic blues confessions of a conflicted medium he was talking about how he would have people who would come to him and get readings and, and it, they'd come back all the time and they'd ask the same questions and mark would tell them the same answer you know you need to do this and so they would say <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, great advice. Come back to them, ask them the same thing. They haven't fixed the problem. It, it's it's always the same answer. And that's what I was getting with this Heather person. It, it was, I'm not feeling good. I need to write a paper for school. And he's saying, take school seriously. That's what your spirits are telling you or whatever. And she's like, well, I need to, you know, I'm not feeling good and, and I'm, I need to get this paper. <laughs> it just was kind of like a loop, you know? Yeah. Um, Heather, get your schoolwork done. I think that's probably pretty important. And maybe, maybe stop hanging out with um, this John Benner and pay, paying your money out there. I thought the other thing I thought was odd. I don't know if you guys caught this. I, I noticed this. I wrote it down. She was making it sound like she doesn't have a love life that 
you know, what's happening in the next three months. She kind of got the, it kind of got the feeling there was nothing there. And then at the very end of this 19 minute reading, she says, I think I have to let him go for a while because he has his own personal issues. He's going through a lot personally too. Wow. Was this interesting? There was, there was nothing, nothing said there. It was just something, if you asked your, your aunt or your next door neighbor or, you know, your teacher or your parent, hey, I've got schoolwork I got to get done. I have a really big final paper that's due by Monday, um, tomorrow by midnight. I'm not feeling good, but I want to know about my love life. Maybe what they would tell you is concentrate on school, Heather. Put your love life to the side, get some sleep, get rid of some of the stress by getting the paper done and try to put the love life to the side. Anybody would tell you that. Everybody would tell you that. Well, maybe not the guy you're in a relationship with. He might say, chuck the school and come and hang out with me. <laughs> but everybody but that guy, I assume it's a guy. No, yeah, it's a guy. She says it's a guy. So um, anyway, if you guys find this interesting, please let me know. Comments. I want to hear what you guys were done in your paper because I want to know. Right? Thanks, everybody.